Hello students, we already have started lesson 2 of history, that is history and the concept of time. And we already have completed unit 2.1 and 2.2. Today, we will learn 2.3, that is historical periods and 2.4, scientific methods of measuring time and establishing age, that is dating. Let's see Unit 2.3 Historical Periods As we have learned in the first lesson that history is a science that tells us about events that happened in the past. Thus, the past is the subject matter of history. Our solar system came into being about 4.5 billion years ago. Our Earth is a planet in the solar system. Thus, it is presumed that the earth was also formed 4.5 billion years ago. The span of 4.5 billion years since the earth's formation is a vast period of time. It is not easy to grasp this entire period all at once. Thus, it is necessary to divide it into a number of stages in order to understand it better. Therefore, the time in history is divided into two main periods, prehistoric period and historic period. Prehistoric simply means before history. The prehistoric period for which no written records are available by which to write its history. That means Nobody was able to write any record in the olden period which can be taken as a base to study further by another person and write it down in the form of a history of that particular period. For example, dinosaur period or when there was human life before the records. Now let's see historic period. The historic period is the period for which written records are available using which we can write history. For example, medieval period that is kings and queens used to rule the kingdom. You already have learned regarding Shivaji Maharaj in 4th standard. So you already know what were the things carried out by Shivaji Maharaj, why it was carried out and how it was useful for the people of his kingdom. Same way regarding British rule in India. Now let's see further 2.4 scientific methods of measuring time and establishing age that is dating. We have seen that there are various methods of measuring time. For example, sundial our glass, water clock. Nowadays, we use clocks and watches. But in those days, clocks and watches were not there. Thus, it was very difficult in that period to find out exactly what is the time, whether it is morning, whether it is afternoon, whether it is evening or night. Now over here, I have shown the picture which will help you to understand how the time period was understood by the people in those early periods. Now, these methods allows us to identify particular date, particular day, month or year with respect to earlier or later day, month or year. For example, today is 12th of May and we can tell that tomorrow will be 13th of May and yesterday was the 11th of May. Information about the events before the beginning of common or Christian era can be obtained with evidence buried under the ground like man-made artifacts and fallen structure. With the help of these remains and scientific methods, we can understand the approximate time of the even. Now here I have shown two pictures. One is regarding Harappan civilization 
which was earlier very famous one civilization and second one is the man made stone tools now these stone tools were also carried out by the human in early age and harappan civilization was also well known in early age it was very very famous and in that period it was very modern also but now what are the remains are only the fallen structure of harappan civilization so with the help of making scientific method use we can understand for how many years ago they existed and we can understand that the year also how many years back they were there or they were alive how many years ago they existed can certainly be made using scientific methods such as carbon 14 analysis and pre drinks analysis now these two methods are used in order to find out from the remainings that we call it as fossils that particular species or that particular fossils may be regarding some leaves or may be regarding anything which was buried for quite a long time maybe for several 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 years because of remaining in the soil for such a long time the image of that thing gets printed on the soil or on the rock and such kinds of prints we call it as fossils so by using scientific method such as carbon 14 analysis and pre rings analysis we can find out for example if an earthen pot is estimated to be 5000 year old with the help of dating techniques we can say that the earthen pot dates back roughly to 3000 bc then we can conclude that the period of the culture to which the pot belongs must be around 3000 bc children i think you have understood unit 2.3 and 2.4 thank you